trust in the Lord forever, for in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. Isaiah 26, 4. There is no act of the soul more acceptable to God, because there is none that brings more glory to His great name than this. Wherever we trace in the scriptures of truth a trust in the Lord, there we find a special and remarkable deliverance. It is recorded of the children of Israel that the Lord delivered their enemies into their hand. For they cried to God in the battle, and he was entreated of them, because they put their trust in him. Again, we read of God's wondrous message sent by Jeremiah to Abed-Melech, the Ethiopian. I will surely deliver you, and you shall not fall by the sword, but your life shall be for a prey unto you, because you have put your trust in me, says the experience, too, of God's people confirms the blessedness of trusting in the Lord. In God I have put my trust. I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. The promises connected with trusting in the Lord are equally rich and encouraging. You will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. None of those who trust in him shall be desolate. The Lord knows those who trust in him. Oh, how great is your goodness which you have laid up for those who fear you, which you have wrought for those who trust in you before the sons of men. You shall hide them in the secret place of your presence. What a marvelous and precious cluster of divine encouragements to those who trust in the Lord with all their heart, under all circumstances, and at all times. Only trust is Jesus' his word. This is all I ask of you, the utmost thing I require at your hand. I demand no costly sacrifice, no wearisome pilgrimage, no personal worthiness, no strength or wisdom or self-endeavors of your own. Only trust me. Only believe that I wait to answer prayer, that I am gracious, that I have all power at my command, that I have your interest at heart, that there is no good thing I am willing to withhold, that I and I alone can guide your present steps, can unravel the web of your difficulties, guide your perplexities, extract you from the snares that have woven their network around your feet, and bring you through fire and through water into a wealthy place. Only trust me. Beloved, is this too hard? Is the request unreasonable and impractical? What? Only to trust Jesus? Only to trust your needs to his ear, your burdens to his arms, your sorrows to his heart. Is this too hard? Is it beyond your power? Then tell Jesus so. Remind him of his own words. Without me, you can do nothing. And ask at his hands the faith to trust, the heart to trust, the courage to trust, and the power to trust all your interests temporal and spiritual, for time and for eternity, into his hands.